So you probably uh, know that the workshop is about the technology and the role of technology. Um, what I um, when I look at technology, I look at it from uh, I, I think it's something like a supermarket. So in the supermarket, you can buy all sorts of products: milk, bread, fruits, but also ready-to-eat uh, products like uh, sushi by the way um, but so keep this keep this uh, supermarket perspective in mind please because we're gonna come back to it later uh, first I want to tell you a little bit about uh, my eye opener my corporate health eye opener um, I was working as a physiotherapist and in a good year mm, I think I have over 600 new patients uh, in the practice um, and I realized all of my patients were talking about work or about their jobs or no matter in what type of branch or market they, they worked I, I imagine even in the White House they, uh, they have corporate health or corporate wellness solutions maybe uh, some of your markets are also, also in the sheet you want this one? yeah I can do that okay <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, they came into my practice and, well, from a medical perspective, it's like corporate, uh, or sorry, work-related uh, injuries, non-work-related uh, non injuries. Okay, great, that's it. If they are work-related, then you zoom in a, a harder, yeah, okay. Zoom in a little bit <laughs> on, uh, um, on, on those things, those problems, uh, at the workplace, uh, but otherwise you just skip it. Uh, but then I started thinking, like, what about prevention of injuries? What about all these benefits that employees can get and employers can get from handing the right tools to these uh, patients and these employees? Um, so, um, of course, patients like employees with uh, physical complaints they have to be, yeah, that's a group that needs a little bit more attention. But I actually think that every employee needs attention um, because everyone can benefit. So, um, for example, is, uh, I quite often uh, have problems with keeping concentrated behind uh, when I'm working. Does anyone else here have problems with staying concentrated? Yes? Okay, what do you do the moment you uh, uh, you get less concentrated? Most of the time I take a break. <laughs> I take a break, okay. Does someone do something else? More coffee. Coffee? Yeah. Great. No, I do something else. I just put everything away and I just run things and see the TV or anything else. So you focus on one thing. Yes. yes. Yeah, move a bit? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so not, not have a, a long walk, but just move a little bit around uh, the office. Yeah, other things? Great. Um, that's the nicest one, probably. Um, so, the same problem, but five different solutions. So, what I want to do is do a, an exercise with you all. Um, I'm going to hand out some papers, and on this paper, uh, you can write down the needs you had in the, well, you have right now or you had in the past. Next to it, you have a column with solutions, and then you have a column with which tools you used. So these tools can be like uh, a physiotherapist, but a tool can also be uh, an exercise app, or a tool can be uh, a mindfulness course. So. Just, I'm, I'm going to share the, the papers and then just write, uh, write it down, uh, what you experienced. And later on, we will discuss it a little bit. Uh, I will help you a little bit. I uh, made my own list. So, uh, yeah, stress, energy, all problems I had in the past. <laughs> Luckily, I don't have them anymore. So, uh, uh, who doesn't have a paper? 
Everyone has a paper? Pencil? Shall I? Yeah? So just create these three columns. And if you're, if you're ready, just uh, hold up your paper and I'll walk around and uh, get them. Okay. So going through these uh, papers, I think we're here with approximately 30 persons, 30 people. Um, and there were already more than 15 different needs on the paper. Most of you wrote down stress, motivation, concentration as problems. Um, but 15 needs, that's quite a lot, and even more tools. So what that says is actually that what we need is a tool that offers a solution for everyone, but it needs to be a specific solution. So everyone has his own specific needs. So let's go back to the uh, to the supermarket. Um, well, let's hope not, but you might need uh, a little bit more calcium, and I might have a vitamin C deficit. So completely different groceries, uh, but we both have a need. So zooming in on those tools, uh, I wrote down some tools. Um, is there a tool missing, if you look at it right now? Someone missing a tool? Could be, I'm just... Free time, great. Vacation, very important. <laughs> yeah. So, um, please put your hands up uh, the moment you would like to have mindfulness course as a tool. Can you put your hand up if you when you want mindfulness co a mindfulness course? Okay. Uh, maybe. Um, uh, and some nutritional advice from a dietitian, a nutritionist. Yeah. Personal trainer. Everyone wants a personal trainer. Come on, guys. <laughs> okay. So, but also, again, like, it was like 20%, 10%, 50%. Again, you, no one wants, like, everyone wants to have a different tool for their needs. So, again, this represents what you want as a group of 30 people. Now imagine what your company, how many tools, how many needs there are within your company. It's quite a lot. Um, so, back to the supermarket again. Now, we both have a vitamin C problem. But still, you might like to eat a little bit more broccoli, and I might like tomatoes. So we both are solving the same problem, but with a different tool. Um, so it's actually the same with reducing stress. Um, I might like to reduce stress with exercising a little bit more. Um, you might like to reduce stress by using a planning tool. Yes, yeah, so I think my point is clear here. So let's move on. Um, oh, sorry. I'm going to wait a little bit. Because letting employees select their own tools has, their, has its benefits. Um, employees will be more committed to working on their needs. Um, and the results will be higher. Also, um, in the end, the employees will be healthier, happier, uh, and maybe even more productive. But that's something we still don't know. So. Um, so we are looking at it from an employer perspective. Um, but now I want to look at it from an uh, employee perspective. But now the employers also have needs. So let's look at it from an employer perspective. So what do employers want? Well, they want to have insights in overall employee needs. They want to have insights in the results, of course, and in the improvements. 
um, but they want to also want to have a communication tool. Maybe they want to have a coach working with the system or with the technology. And they want to have branded tools. Like if um, KLM works with a system, they want it to be a, KLL, a KLM system, so not a MindVibe system. Um, do you see any things missing here on the on the sheet? I can name one. Sorry? Yeah, great. Yeah. Other things? Overall, they want to be, want to have a solution, maximum results, as less uh, time spent on it. So an easy to use solution. So luckily, uh, technology can offer uh, at least a solution that takes a little bit more, uh, less time than other solutions because you can work on all these things. So have certain tools in place and you can work on, have, have all these employer parts in the, in the system. Um, so at mind we try to create this software, um, this platform that offers all these solutions, all these tools, uh, so that we, well, the, we strive to have a personal solution for everyone. So it m must be really accessible, it must be really easy to work with. But in the end, of course, the employers also want to see results. So. So what we have is a community, which is a basic part of the system where people can inter interact, but what also uh, helps uh, the employer communicate with their employees, which has been a great tool and it has shown that it's a great tool in the past. So from that point on, employees should be able to select their own uh, tools. So you can have your nutrition, your workout exercise, you can um, well, even have some bite-sized information about psychological factors, so getting better sleep or uh, reducing stress uh, with uh, workouts, uh, office workouts, those sort of things. Well, actually, I, I don't know how long I'm talking already, but it's not that long probably, but uh, I'm already uh, through my wor uh, workshop, so I, I hope there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of questions. Um, so, how are we going to analyze what the results are? So, what we try to do is um, have a regular uh, questionnaire sent out to everyone. This questionnaire should be anonymous, and everyone can fill it out. And then every period of time, every three months, for example, we analyze these results, and it's a, uh, it's an over, overall result. So it's there are no personal results in it. The the questionnaire can be about everything you want it to be. Then a, another thing we do is we track data. We analyze this data. So what we analyze is attendance uh, at, for example, lunch walks, attendance during yoga classes, attendance uh, while working, walking on the treadmill desk, which is something uh, Peter just talked about uh, at the Life Fitness workshop. Um, and they are trying to make this first step, this first, well, way of activating people. So it shouldn't be about working out uh, uh, immediately, like having people uh, using or tracking their nutrition or tracking progress or do small workouts, small exercises at the uh, work floor is already a great step forward. And it might give the results that an employer is looking for and that's most of the times improving productivity. Um, are there any questions about, because the data tracking thing is something that I think is really important and all the employers are 
like asking for how can we measure results, those sort of things. So what we try to do is we we offer this uh, solution in, in several products. We offer it as a uh, software only solution. So then we provide it to somewhere, someone within the company, an uh, HR manager or an HR um, um, employer, um, employee, sorry. Uh, but we also uh, offer it together with a coach. Because what we see is that if someone is tracking the results of uh, the employees, they will be more committed and they will be uh, more engaged in improving well, or working out or training. It shouldn't be about improving all the time, by the way. Um, and then we have this package uh, where we offer the software, the coach, together with hardware. And that's where Life Fitness also comes into play. They provide us with, for example, uh, they provide the client, the company with a treadmill desk. And what they do is they track in our software, they track the, uh, the sorry, they reserve a spot on the treadmill desk and we track the attendance on the treadmill desk and, set, and show the employer like, hey, look, the first month attendance was great. The treadmill desk was used seven hours a day. But now, after two months, it's going down a little bit, the attendance, and it's only four hours a day. So what you could do is use the community to communicate to your employees, like, hey, guys, remember, there's still a treadmill desk. Where are you using it for? You all have uh, conference calls. You all have uh, uh, presentations where you, should, where you can swipe through. You don't have to type all the time, so please start using the treadmill desk again. And then you get this interaction, this activation, that gives a long-term uh, engagement. Um, using the questionnaire, you can find what needs are uh, there within your company. For example, it could be that people uh, want to track their nutrition a little bit more, want to improve on their diet, for example. So they will start tracking their nutrition. A coach or an employee, the assigned employee, uh, can then um, uh, communicate, hey guys, uh, we, we, without saying like, hey, the, we, uh, you all wanted to uh, work on your nutrition, that's the, that's the outcome of the questionnaire. They can start stimulating people to start tracking their nutrition by use of an app. They can stimulate people by hiring a dietitian and creating a, a, a meal plan for those, uh, em for the employees. They can um, introduce one of the uh, uh, psychological uh, cards that are, that are in the system, for example, that, that learn how to eat healthy at the office. So that's kind of the way I think um, software should should work. We are placing the employee in the supermarket and the employer is leading the supermarket kind of. He uh, is checking which products are used most. He is saying like, hey, place that product on that height because we want to uh, um, we want the product to be sold a little bit more. And well, software should be only the solution, but handing out lots of tools. Thank you.